What's going on? It's your boy HDK. Today we are going to look at BitGet copy trading. A lot of you have been having a question. What is the difference between fixed amount and multiplier on copy trades? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. If you have done so, if you haven't done so, you got to go make sure you like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated with some of the best information from the best authority on copy trading available on the internet on BitGet known as this channel right over here. Anyway, enough of my bullshit. All right, looking at the uh, uh, looking at this uh, this thing called fixed amount and multiplier. What is it? How do we use it? How does it help us stay? I guess liquid because a lot of you are liquidated. But how does it help us stay uh, not liquid? Uh, how, you know, still you know have some money so that we can actually trade. That's a simple way to put it. So we're gonna actually look at the difference between fixed amount and multiplier because a lot of you have been asking that question. Um, there is no correct answer, but uh, but I hope that you can come up with the correct answer yourself um, as per uh, listening to what I'm about to say. Okay, so we're gonna look at fixed amount. Fixed amount and multiplier. Okay, so, and this, this all has to do with how much money you have in your account. So let's say you have a, Let's say you have a two thousand dollar account, which I think is uh, I think a lot of our followers actually have at least about that amount uh, to actually do your copy trading uh, with Bigget. Now, um, before I talk any further, I would like to plug in uh, the Telegram group that I've set up for those of you who actually want to um, have a, exchange a bit of ideas and knowledge about how to actually do this. Uh, there's a Telegram link available uh, in the description. It's actually a Google form. Fill that out. Um, you initially have to sign up to BitGet using my affiliate link first. And then once you do that, then you can actually um, be granted access to the Telegram group. So once you have that, um, then, um, then then you can actually exchange ideas on the strategies that works, you know, that on the strategies that doesn't work, some of the good traders to follow. So go check out the link in the description. And then let's, uh, let's, actually, let's actually put some dialogue behind this interesting beast that, that is copy trading. Uh, so before I talk anything further, so this is your account, okay, your account. And this is important. And then we're going to look at the account of the principal trader. So uh, let's say the, 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 the I, I like to call it the principal trader. Okay, let's have a look at how much money they have. So what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to, well, let's get out of this. Um, we're going to go copy trading, futures copy trading, and then we're just going to pick, um, we're just going to pick any old trader. So let's, let's say we, we, we look at this guy, Lamborghini, okay? Uh, we check out his account size. It's about ten thousand dollars. So in the last seven days to one month, okay. I mean, this this is a pretty silly account. I'm not gonna. I, I don't think this is a this is a, a helpful data set. I mean, maybe these are all deposits, and then and then it just makes it look silly. But ten point one four k to about ten point five k. So he's made with ten thousand dollars in the last one month about three hundred bucks. Not too helpful. And you know, his daily PL ratio is like 4,000%. I mean, that's cool and all. I'm guessing he's just taking super low risk with like super low um, trade sizes. And that's why this is possible. Anyway, just looking at this, um, just looking at this, uh, you know, we, we can at least identify that his account size is about $10,000. Okay. We also need to identify his, um, his leverage size. So it looks like he likes to take 50x leverage in both directions in short and long. Okay, and his returns aren't bad. Like it's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, let's have a look at his active trades. Just a quick sus while we're here. Okay, so pretty pretty average stuff. Um, you know, I think I think you know you with these account with these type of accounts you're gonna have some really good days, and then I feel like on the bad days it could get really really bad. So high risk sort of um, account. Um, if you like those kind of things, and this is this is the account for you. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, 40,000 exposure and about 13,000 profit. Yeah, people are making good profits out of this, okay? Anyway, so we know that this guy takes 50, 50x positions and he likes to, um, he has about $10,000 in, in, his, in his bank account, let's say. So I'm just gonna put, it, put in 10,000 in his account. And so with a fixed amount, what, what you will find with fixed amount is that if you press follow, one of the ways that you can follow, and it's just this, this, this error here. So we actually, you know, you won't actually know the difference. Um, you want, some of you might not even know that that exists there. Obviously, if you watch my tutorials, you'll know that they're always there. So fixed amount is basically between $10 and $10,000 trades, as you can see, a multiplier, if you read it, represents the multiplier relation between each copied trade and the trader. Okay, cool. So 
we're going to look at what different uh, the, the, each of those mean and what, how that actually acts in, in, in trading. So a fixed amount, we know that it goes from $10 to $10,000 trades and the multiplier, it goes from 0 0.01 to 100. So we actually don't know the size of the trades that the principal trader makes based on the metric that's provided by Bitcoin. Okay, so uh, you know, and and I could only assume from the amount of profit this guy was making that he's, he's, he's each of his trades as a very very small and they're very high leverage. We've also established that his leverage that he likes to play with is about 50x. Okay, so that means at the lowest fixed amount, okay, a ten dollar fixed amount. Okay, if if a trade is activated by this trader, this Lamborghini trader, you're going to then use that $10 and activate the same trade every time he trades. So, and let's also look at how often this guy trades. So he trades, let's have a look at the orders. Okay, so, so the, today is the eighth of the fourth, one, two, three, or two trades. On the sixth, he's traded one, two, three, four, five, four times. On the fifth, he traded one, two, three, four times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 trades on the fifth. So he trades anywhere between, just in the last three days of looking at his account, he trades anytime, but anywhere between two to 10 trades per day. So if you have a 50, a 50 X leverage, a 50 X leverage, you're basically going to trade $10 trades, which will then expose yourself to about $500 worth of a trade because you're multiplying that by 50. And that could go up to 10 trades a day. So that means you got to have exposed, you, you, your, your, your money's, the amount of money that you are exposing to the market can go as high as $5,000 when your account is only $2,000. That I think has some pretty high risk, um, liquidation risk there, okay? So that's that's not particularly, the, these two there has a pretty, it's, it's not the greatest. I don't think it's the greatest. Although if you're gonna have a few runs on the board and you're gonna have this kind of return, like 100%, 40%, 45%, 59%, then on these trades, you know, 49% is like 200 and it's going to be 200, 200 bucks on the 40% that you're going to profit in like one day. So if you did the $10 method or the fixed method, even at the lowest you're going to put in with this Lamborghini bloke, you would have, you would have on, on that one day, on, 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 on this day, let's say you made four trades, 18, 20, 33, and 52%, 20% of uh, 500 is 100 bucks, uh, 200, uh, 200 bucks, uh, I can't do math today. 100 bucks, another 100 bucks, 150 bucks, and 250 bucks. That's, what is it? Um, 300 bucks. You basically would have made about a $500 profit in one day from bloody, from a $2,000 account. That's gone, basically on your seed, it's gone up like, you know, gone up 25%, which is dope in like one day. That's nuts, but it comes with high risk. And so some of you might want to take that risk. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, if this is like your spare cash and you got money to blow like that, like why wouldn't you, you know? Like if you can afford it, gamble, right? That's the that's the, that's the the old adage, isn't it? But if you want to go for the more safer option, then, you know, let me introduce you to multiplier. So multiplier is interesting. So like we've seen that the principal trader has a $10,000 account. You have a $2,000 account. Um, and so what they're doing is if the principal trader opens up like a $10 account, right? That's a, that's a trade size that they've opened up with, you know, with 50 X and, you know, maybe he can afford to do that because he has a 50, a $10,000 account. You might want to, um, one fifth that, you know, only, only because, because 2000 is one fifth of, um, uh, 10,000. So you want to multiply that by 20% because your account is only 20% of their account. So if they trade in a particular lot size, you want to go multiply, you want to multiply your, your size, your, your account size in proportion to their account size to then, then mimic their risk profile. Exactly. Okay. That's what you're doing. Obviously that'll require constant rebalancing because your account size is going to change. Their account size is going to change, but that's what it's going to be. And also if you're following multiple accounts, so let's say you're following another person's account, um, then, you know, let's say you, you want to, you want to expose yourself half, half to the other person's account. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that your account, uh, then, then you want to make adjustment for that. So it'll be only a thousand you should expose to this particular account and then another thousand to another, uh, principal trader. So that will be, then you on, only on, you want to copy 10% of their trade sizes. So you, you are, um, you are then multi, you are then getting, um, you are then, uh, then, then in this case, multiplying 
by 20%. If you want to double the risk that this trader is taking, then you can multiply it by 40%, couldn't you? Right? You totally could. Uh, and so with that, you just got to convert these uh, these uh, these these percentages into decimals. So in this case, that'll be 0 0.2. In this case, that'll be 0 0.4. And that's how you can use it. You, it may be a different relationship. So like if you, if your account your account is let's say 10k, and uh, the, the trader principal trader's account is only uh, 4k then and you want to you know replicate the principal traders risk profile to you then your multiplier should be 2.5 okay so that's the idea behind it uh, to to replicate the same level of risk if you want to double the risk you can multiply it by five if you want to triple the risk then it'll be 7.5 and so on you get the idea this is just simple mathematics yeah it's funny how you have to be sort of good at maths when you have to when you're going to trade uh, crypto so that is the that is the difference between the multiplier mode and fixed amount. I have seen people succeed in multiplier mode. I've seen people succeed in fixed amount. People who succeed in fixed amount usually su experience success really quickly. People who experience success in multiplier mode experience success over time. Um, however, it is still a, a faster time frame than other types of trading because we are still dealing with what's called futures trading, which is very very risky. So. Uh, but with fixed amount, I have seen people fail very quickly as well. Uh, but with multiplier, you because you're you're reducing the volatility, you sort of you sort of coast along, and it is incumbent upon you to actually take profits at the right time. So if you haven't done so, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Go check out the um, the, the the Google form below. So get yourself signed up to BitGet so you get all the bonuses and the the benefits of all the trading fees. Go check out the uh, the Telegram group where you can exchange ideas because I think that'll be really helpful for you so that you're not doing this alone and exchange some positive ideas um, and actually exchange some of your failures as well. If you're failing out there, go and learn how other people are failing and just don't do it. Um, and I hope you can learn uh, uh, to uh, to um, make your own decision on how to actually follow good copy traders so that you can remain profitable um, by size and by duration. Much love to you all. Thanks for tuning in today. Okay. Peace out.